very warm welcome to this Eucharist at lunchtime on St Matthias Day. St Matthias wasn't one of the original disciples that Jesus um, called, not one of the original twelve. But after uh, Judas was gone and he had betrayed Jesus, the remaining disciples decided that they needed to choose a twelfth, a twelfth apostle. And St Matthias had been a witness to the resurrection and um, was faithfully following Jesus. And he was chosen um, prayerfully um, to take that place. And we know very little else about him, except that he became one of those apostles and we celebrate him today. And um, you'll also notice today, um, provided that my technical skills have not failed me, there should be a little line on the top or the bottom of your screen saying, if you're interested in Christianity, click this link. And uh, so if you'd like to find out more, do follow that link and it gives you some ideas of ways in which you can explore faith in a bit more depth. So um, as we join in this service, um, please join in as much as you can at home and uh, enjoy and celebrate and worship with us. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Grace, mercy and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And also with you. We say together, Almighty God, to, to whom, whom all, all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Christ died to sin once for all and now he lives to God. So let us renew our resolve to have done with all that is evil and confess our sins in penitence and faith. Most merciful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we confess that we have sinned in thought, word and deed. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbours as ourselves. In your mercy, forgive what we have been. Help us to amend what we are and direct what we shall be, that we may do justly, love mercy, and walk humbly with you, our God. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon us, pardon and deliver us from all our sins, confirm and strengthen us in all goodness, and keep us in life eternal. Amen. Amen. The Gloria. Glory to God in the highest and, and peace, peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Collect for St Matthias Day Almighty God, who in the place of Judas who betrayed Jesus, chose your faithful servant Matthias to be of the number of the twelve. Preserve your church from false apostles and by the ministry of faithful pastors and teachers, keep us steadfast in your truth through Jesus Christ, your son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, 
now and forever. Amen. Amen. We have the first lesson of the day. The reading is taken from the book of Acts, chapter 1. In those days, Peter stood up among the believers. Together, the crowd numbered about 120 people and said, Friends, the scripture had to be fulfilled which the Holy Spirit through David foretold concerning Judas, who became a guide for those who arrested Jesus. For he was numbered among us and was allotted his share in this ministry. Now this man acquired a field with the reward of his wickedness, and falling headlong he burst upon open in the middle, and all his bowels gushed out. This became known to all the residents of Jerusalem so that the field was called in their language Hakeldama, that is, field of blood. For it is written in the book of Psalms, Let his homestead become desolate, and let there be no one to live in it, and let another take his position of overseer. So one of the men who have accompanied us throughout the time that the Lord Jesus went in and out among us, beginning from the baptism of John until the day when he was taken up from us, one of these must become a witness with us to his resurrection. So they proposed two, Joseph called Basabas, who was also known as Justus, and Matthias. Then they prayed and said, Lord, you know everyone's heart. Show us which one of these two you have chosen to take the place in this ministry and apostleship from which Judas turned aside to go to his own place. And they cast lots for them, and the lot fell on Matthias, and he was added to the eleven apostles. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory, Glory to, to you, you O Lord. Lord. As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. I have said these things to you, so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I do not call you servants any longer because the servant does not know what the master is doing. But I have called you friends, because I've made known to you everything that I've heard from my father. You didn't choose me, but I chose you. And I appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last, so that the father will give you whatever you ask him in my name. I am giving you these commands, so that you may love one another. This is the Gospel of Christ. Praise, Praise to, to you, you o, o Christ. Christ. And now I invite you to join with me in praying for the church and for the world and in thanking God for his goodness. The response to these prayers, if you wish to join in at home, is when I say, Jesus, Lord of life, would you respond in your mercy, hear us. We pray to Jesus, who is present with us to eternity, saying, Jesus, Lord of life, in your, in your mercy, mercy, hear us. 
Jesus, light of the world, bring the light and peace of your gospel to the nations. And especially at this time, we pray for your wholeness and healing. For all those who are seeking to combat the COVID virus, and for all those who seek to protect people and their communities. Jesus, Lord of life, in, in your, your mercy, mercy hear, hear us. us. Jesus, bread of life, give food to the hungry. Especially we pray for those who visit food banks for those who receive food deliveries and for those who need such things but have not been able to access them. We pray for those across the world who in these current circumstances are finding it difficult to find or to grow food. And we also pray for our need of nourishment of your word, for our spiritual food. That we may know you feeding and sustaining us in our spirits, in our mood, in our learning. Jesus, Lord of life. In your, your mercy, mercy, hear us. us. Jesus, our way, our truth, our life. Be with us and all who follow you in the way. We bring before you the opportunities that isolation has brought to many of us. To dwell more deeply in your word, to learn to pray, to learn stillness or silence. And we bring also before you the challenges of this time, of having different people live with us, or being completely on our own for much of the time. In all our circumstances, Deepen our appreciation of your presence and truth and fill us with your life. Jesus, Lord of life, in your mercy, hear us. Hear us. Jesus, good shepherd, who gave your life for the sheep, recover the straggler, bind up the injured, strengthen the sick and lead the healthy and strong to play. We pray especially for any we know who are unwell for whatever reason. And we ask your blessing on those who care for them. Jesus, Lord of life, in your mercy, hear us. Jesus, the resurrection and the life. We give you thanks for all who have lived and believed in you. And we pray especially for those who mourn the loss of a loved one. We bring them to mind now in your presence. Bring to those who mourn the comfort of knowing your promise of eternal life and the comfort of your presence with them this day. Jesus, Lord of life, 
in your mercy, hear us. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. The risen Christ came and stood among his disciples and said, Peace be with you. And then they were glad when they saw the Lord. And so now we come to share a sign of peace. And um, if you have others with you at home, please share a sign of peace with them. If you are watching this on your own, please know that our prayers for peace to be present with you are, are with you now. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Let's offer to one another a sign of God's peace. Peace be with you. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. In your loving care, you spread before us the table of life and give us the cup of salvation to drink. Keep us always in the fold of our Saviour and our Shepherd, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Blessed be God forever. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is indeed right. It is our duty and our joy, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, almighty and eternal Father, and in these days of Easter, to celebrate with joyful hearts the memory of your wonderful works. For by the mystery of his passion, Jesus Christ, your risen Son, has conquered the powers of death and hell, and restored in men and women the image of your glory. He has placed them once more in paradise and opened to them the gate of life eternal. And so in the joy of this Passover, earth and heaven resound with gladness, while angels and archangels and the powers of all creation sing forever the hymn of your glory. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of power and might, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Accept our praises, Heavenly Father, through your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. And as we follow his example and obey his command, grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us his body and his blood who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread. He broke it and he gave it to his disciples saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them saying, Drink this all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Therefore, Heavenly Father, we remember his offering of himself made once for all upon the cross. We proclaim his mighty resurrection and his glorious ascension. And we look for the coming of your kingdom. And with this bread and this cup, we make the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Lord. Jesus Christ is Lord. Lord, Lord by your cross, cross and, and resurrection, resurrection you, you have set, set us free. free. You, you are, are the Saviour of, of the world. world. Accept through him, our great High Priest, this our sacrifice of thanks and praise, and as we eat and drink these holy gifts in the presence of your Divine Majesty, renew us by your Spirit, Inspire us with your love and unite us in the body of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, with all who stand before you in earth and heaven, we worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of everlasting praise. Blessing, Blessing and, and honour and, and glory and power 
be yours forever and ever. Amen. Rejoicing in God's new creation, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Jesus said, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry. Whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world, world. Have, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Alleluia. Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore let us keep the feast. Alleluia. Alleluia. Spiritual communion is a historic practice in the church and it's for those who cannot receive um, the elements of communion physically. Um, and it's, it's a prayer that you may receive God's presence spiritually where you are at home so just as we come here in this room to share the elements of communion we first of all pause and we pray for those and with those of you who are watching at home you might want to make this prayer your own thanks be to you lord jesus christ for all the benefits you have given me, for all the pains and insults you have borne for me. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. O oh, most merciful Redeemer, friend and brother, may I know you more clearly, love you more dearly and follow you more nearly day by day. Amen. Amen. The body of Christ keeps the eternal life. Amen. The body of Christ.
Lord God, the source of truth and love, keep us faithful to the Apostles' teaching and fellowship, united in prayer and the breaking of bread, and one in joy and simplicity of heart, in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. <coughs> God of life, who for our redemption gave your only begotten Son to the, the death, death of the cross, cross and by his, his glorious ascension has risen us from the power of our enemy, grant us so to die daily to sin that we may evermore live with him in the joy of his risen life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now may the God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus Christ, that great shepherd of the sheep, make you perfect in every good work to do his will. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. With the risen life of Christ within you, be in the peace of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. <laughs>